why are things so tough? If we actually look at the obstacle and say, what am I, what am I here to learn from this? What opportunity does this create? We actually can get really excited about when times like this come because we know that in the face of this, with the right attitude and the right focus, there's growth, there's learning, and there's opportunity that comes out of it. Well, I think the key is to have is staying power because the last quarter wasn't pretty financially, um, especially in the mortgage world, real you know, real estate world. But whatever quarter is go quarters going on, whatever season of life, you have to be able to have longevity there and and make through the tough times because the tough times probably have a lot most opportunity to be able to grow. And we've seen that over and over and over again. And, but you have to make sure you're financially, um, you know, uh, smart enough to make sure that you can make it through those times. Because if you're not, it could be a big, it, it could really weigh on your, your mental capacity and emotional intelligence on this, because then you're just struggling because you um, figure, feel like you need to be getting a deal to, to close. Always, I believe, I don't like backup plans, but I think that when it comes to having longevity in whatever you're doing, um, you need to have some sort of plan B. And my plan B was always like, well, I can just go work at a restaurant and serve tables and make some money. And I try to keep my bills low enough. I think the challenge with this market uh, in real estate and financial advisors run into this issue and business owners we have a run up and let's say they have a three or four or five year good run and it's more market based, let's say we all want to say we're, we're heroes and we do a good job, but the market definitely impacts things. Um, keep in mind that that lean years can come. I even have uh, one of our friends sold a business, was a CEO, sold his business, chunk of money in the bank. Well, think about what happens when you quit, you know, and if you don't have residual income coming in, well, just because you have a decent chunk of money in the bank doesn't doesn't mean that that can also bring you a little bit of fear and and worry. So you want to have some sort of contingency plan about what's going to do. I I think everybody listening, I think everybody should be saving a minimum of twenty five percent minimum uh, into an emergency account, an investment account. And something I've learned is don't let that money come out of that account unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> 